Staying in Malaysia, the Tsuji Salangor and Kuala Lumpur chapter recently held the first session of the 2016 Tsuji Youth Officers Training Camp. More than 100 Tsuji leaders from different universities seized the occasion to learn from each other and affirm their vow to inspire compassion. At the camp, many Tsuji alumni took on different tasks to ensure Tsuji got the most out of this experience. Clad in blue and white uniforms, 129 Tsuchings from 40 universities gather at a Kuala Lumpur Jingsi Hall to attend a Tsuji Youth Officers Training Camp. The camp's theme, Inherit the Past and Usher in the Future, is also the mission of Tsuching leaders. How do we continue 50 years of Tsuji's mission? The Master wants Tsuji to exist forever. I wasted much time before becoming a Tsuching leader because I had my doubts about life. I learned about the true meaning of life after attending camps like this one. The future belongs to young people, so we will be the backbone of society. We need to take actions to change the planet Earth. Tsuching Them Jia Wei, who was the Tsuching Club contact person for over a year, had trouble facing obstacles and limits until she saw how Master Jing Yan has been benefiting the public continuously for 50 years. Sometimes I felt discouraged after our classmates turned down my invitations. However, the Master has persevered over the years. Why do I feel intimidated about being rejected once? I started to try for the second and third time. Their Tsuji experience has broadened their horizons, and many have vowed to inspire more people's love to create a cycle of compassion in society. Nurturing the young takes a lot of effort and mindfulness. The team leaders at the Tsuji Youth Officers Training Camp know the importance of such effort. The seeds are like Tsuching's, then sunshine, air and water are the master's Dharma teachings. We Tsuching alumni must teach by setting an example and accompanying the Tsuchings with patience to let them grow. These Tsuching alumni, who usually help lead Tsuchings at universities, have taken on different tasks at the camp. Having received people's guidance themselves, they are now sharing the love. Chu Manchu, who graduated three years ago, only participated in events in the past without wanting to take on responsibilities. This training camp made me realize that I must change my mindset. In the past, I did not shoulder responsibilities, so I did not learn or grow. Therefore, I could not take on necessary tasks. From now on, regardless of whether I am needed or not, I must learn to shoulder responsibilities. These Tsuching alumni hope to continue to pass down the baton of responsibilities and the Tsuching spirit for generations to come.